Hello and welcome to the Ross Abespoke YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to answer a simple question. So this is Kiwi Rain and Stain Extreme Protector. Not just normal protector, this is extreme. So let's see if this extreme protector actually works. Let's see. Okay, so it's raining and it's muddy, but the leather has been damaged. No. That's that's not good. I'm genuinely shocked by this result. So the first thing I had to do was go and buy some brand new shoes because all of my shoes have layers and layers of polish over the years and therefore this test would not have worked because all my lovely layers of polish would have kept the rain off. Leather shoes, full leather uppers. Now I've deliberately gone for ones which are not I have no broguing on them or anything like that that might affect its ability to waterproof. They also have rubber soles so that we're not going to be looking at this, the water coming up through the soles, through the leather soles, because they're rubber. Now, the instructions on this Kiwi the instructions Rain and practically Stain non Extreme, whatever it's called, are rubbish. The instructions just show that first you apply some of this and you shake this. It's not written, it's just pictures. So I think that's someone, I hope that's a picture of someone shaking that. Um, then you spray it on this from 20 centimeters away and you wait one hour. It doesn't, it doesn't explain anything to be honest, but that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're going to apply this stuff, which you might have seen. I've already done a review on the Kiwi Instant Shine and Protect. So if you haven't already seen it, I'll put the thing up there or there or wherever it goes so you can have a look. I don't know how waterproof these are going to be. These are new shoes. So one of them I will treat with this. First a layer of this, as it says on the box. And the other one I will treat with just a layer of this. They've never had any other polish put on them other than what was done in the factory when they were made. Okay, so that's my first thing to do is I will apply some of this. They've literally never been worn, they've still got the paper in them. And I'll just give this a bit of this all over. As you can see, they're real leather. Okay, so I'm not going mad with this. I've just given this a thin layer just to cover the shoes and I'll let that dry off before I apply this. I have let the instant uh, Kiwi shine and protect dry on this shoe. So that's all it has right now. And I'm gonna use the left one so you can remind me later when maybe I can't remember which one I've done. I did the left one. Um, and we will now apply the Kiwi Rain and Stain Extreme Protector and see if it works. Let's, so I've given it a good shake. Now, obviously my table is made out of an old aeroplane wing, so it's aluminium and I can wash it down. But if your table isn't something like that, I would recommend you put some newspaper or something like that down to protect it. Again, the instructions don't include any information like that, but it seems common sense to me to put something down. Okay, so here we go. So I can't see any little clips or anything, so it looks like it should spray straight away. So from about 20 centimeters, I'll spray a generous layer of this. It comes out really th like thick and fast, actually. Quite smells like, <laughs> geez. Wow, okay, it smells a lot. If you used to make model aeroplanes when you were a child, you will recognize this smell straight away. It smells like that Humboldt paint that you used to paint your Spitfires with, or if you're American, your Mustangs. Um, so well, right now, it looks horrible. I mean, whoa, that's like a really plasticky kind of, horrible shine. I look like I've missed a spot over here and hopefully I won't die from these chemicals before 
lovely big sign on it saying solvent abuse can kill. I feel like I'm going to be victim to that. Um, I'm doing this inside. I kind of feel like I should have done it outside, but it's raining, which is the whole point of the test. So, mm. okay. So I, I will leave that now for one hour and we will see whether this one is more waterproof than this one. Okay, so now the shoes have had over an hour to dry. I came back after an hour and they, they didn't feel properly dry, so they, they've now had more than two hours to dry. And Obviously, this is the one which just had the normal polish. That's absolutely fine. It's nice and shiny. Looks good. This is the one that's had the dubbing, and look. That's, that's not good. That is not nice. Look, I and mean, I can... It's cover, it, It's like I've sprayed it with WD-40. Um, and obviously I could rub that off. Well, I say obviously, I assume I could rub it off. But I feel that that would rather take away the whole point of the waterproofing. Um, so, I mean, first part of the test, aesthetics, God no. I mean... You would not want to be seen in public. Unfortunately, I now need to be seen in public like this to test the waterproofing side. But as far as just the looking of it goes, this is a, a hard no so far. Okay, so I thought what better way to test the waterproofing of the shoes than to go for a walk with my dog through the long wet grass. Obviously, dress shoes are not ideal for this sort of walking and let's see whether I get pulled over by this crazy trap as I've got no grips. But generally, let's see, let's get them wet and let's see what happens. Okay, so it's raining and it's muddy. Ah, got branches on my face. This looks like the Blair Witch Project. Right, okay, so that was quite easy. So let's take this up to the next level. Let's go for some submersion in some water and let's see how they hold up to this. This is why I am literally outstanding in my field. I'm going to do something that I haven't done since I was a little boy, and that is deliberately jump into a puddle. Okay, so, oh, this is a deep puddle. Oh, oh dear. That's very cold. Children so, laughing uh, in background. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Yeah, this is not a pleasant experience. Even under these circumstances, this waterproofing keeps the water out of my shoes. Let's see how long it takes. I don't know how long I can take this. Okay, so we can see here that all the water has turned to droplets on this one, which has got the special spray on it, but they haven't on this one without. Okay, so here we go. So we've got, this is the one that had the stuff on it. And as you can see, the water is really well, like not going in, not going in. Look, so the water is staying off very, very well. It's just beading off. This is the one that didn't have the stuff put on. Now, what's interesting is actually, for a start, they were both brilliant. Even after standing in that deep puddle, there's hardly any water that's gone through the leather into the shoe but this one is slightly damp on the inside and this one is also slightly damp they're both slightly damp on the inside so as far as water ingress into the shoe i don't see a huge amount of difference but this is quite interesting the beading off of the water so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to leave them to dry completely and see which one looks better once it's dry because that would be something that's really good to have if the shoes would just dry off nicely. Imagine if you just walked to work in the rain, you had a meeting later, it'd be really nice to look good for that. Okay, so this is absolutely fascinating, to be honest. These are not the results that I was really expecting, and that's why I love to do experiments like this, because it surprised me. Okay, so the first thing is... This is the one which didn't have the spray. And there's quite a lot of mud and general stuff sort of stuck to this shoe. I'll give it a quick, just a very quick wipe off 
with just a dry cloth and see what happens. Okay, it doesn't really come off. It's fairly stuck on, as you'd probably expect, to be honest. But this is the one that was treated with the waterproofing. And, okay, that mud has literally, there was just rubbed really easily straight off, just with a cloth, with nothing else. Okay, I am genuinely surprised at that. Okay, that's... And you know what? It has soaked in. It takes a lot longer than the one hour. But actually, that's amazing. I mean, I don't know how much you will see the difference there. But the untreated and the treated look totally different. I'll just zoom in to show you. Okay, so look at this now. And this is what's really important. This, this was the shoe that was treated with the waterproofing. Now, there is absolutely no damage to the leather here at all. That is still very soft. Absolutely great. Now, this is the one that wasn't treated. Now, see, I wouldn't normally go out in my shoes without giving them a good layer of polish. But look what's happened. These wrinkles. It's dried and the leather has wrinkled up. The leather has been damaged by the water. So, proof. At the end of that test, I'm going to conclusively say this does exactly what it says on the tin. This will give your leather extreme protection under extreme circumstances. Now dress shoes are not designed to do what I did in them today. So theoretically you should never really need this. This would be more suitable for your outside hiking boots or something like that. Your outdoor shoes. But I wanted to do an extreme test I wanted to see if it would work, and yes, it does. Will I be using it on my dress shoes? No, I won't, because I'm not going to jump into deep puddles in my dress shoes. I'll just use normal polish as I always used to. Will I be using it on my outdoor shoes, on my brown shoes, on my country shoes? 100%. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm going to use this. I hope you found that helpful. And I really look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.